Damien Aspinall is on a very special mission deep in the African jungle. Come on. This is no easy expedition. Come on. Come on, man. It's like searching for a needle in a haystack. Come on. Come on. Damien's trying to locate a gorilla called Queeby, who he hand raised in England and released into the wilds of Gabon five years ago. He was a very, very sweet gorilla, one of the first gorillas we took back to the Gabon and released back into the wild. I wasn't quite sure how, how he was going to react. He'd attacked the last couple of um, sort of human contacts that he'd come across, so he was considered dangerous. But after days of searching, Come on, then. a familiar face appears from the dense jungle canopy. When I found him and, and you know, jumped out of the boat and on, onto the side of the river, half of me was thinking, was this going to go wrong? Damien briefs his team to distract Queeby if he turns hostile. Boss, to throw food if it kicks off. Uh, and secondly, when we want to go, throw food, but throw it away from us, not near us. But what happens next is the most tender of reunions. <laughs> I knew as I got onto the riverbank and I heard his gorillas have a deep love gurgle. <laughs> I knew then that, um, that I was okay. I love gurgle. Yeah. It was extraordinary, really. It was probably one of the great moments of my life. <laughs> he embraced me and um, was talking to me all the time, all the time he was talking to me. I was fine. I was actually a bit more worried when he started introducing me to his wives, because some of them were wild caught, yeah. and they don't know me. He thoroughly embraced you. He did, yeah. And didn't Ooh. want me to go. Like an old friend. Yeah. Very, very sweet. And um, it was actually very difficult leaving him. He, he didn't want me to leave. You think we have a sleeping bag? Yeah. I'm certainly quite now. I'm going to get out of here. To understand this unique bond Damien Aspinall has formed with Queeby, you need to understand his unique childhood. His father, John, was an eccentric gambler who opened a string of casinos in the 60s and turned the family's English manor into a free-range zoo. Young Damien was literally raised with wild animals and especially the family's gorillas. It sounds odd for most people, but it's because it was, you know, th there were just gorillas in the house and tigers in the house and wolves in the house. It, it was completely ordinary. Um, I didn't find it strange at all. And today, Damien has not just inherited, but expanded what his father started. Are these fairly docile? They don't take your finger off or anything, do they? As I discovered, trying to get our interview underway. Damien, I think we've been replaced. Uh, this is you in lemur form, and this is me is a lemur. Well, they're both better looking. <laughs> Would you like to interview Damien? <laughs> it's pretty obvious this is no ordinary zoo. Damien Aspinall is certainly no ordinary zookeeper. In fact, he's the most unlikely of animal activists. They need, I guess for want of a better word, an ambassador to, to protect them and look after their interests. There's enough people looking after human interests and I don't think there's enough people looking after the interests of animals so I feel very passionate that I have to fight for them and try and protect what I think is rightfully theirs. You're going to get the whole lot aren't you? There you are. Oh. Damien has established a groundbreaking program which he calls Gorilla School. <laughs> the mission to teach these captive gorillas, born and bred in the English countryside, to live wild and free in Africa. Watching Damien work and play with some of the most powerful animals on earth is quite amazing. Gorillas this size 
could kill a man in seconds. Yeah, he's a good boy. But to Damien, they're friends. They're all gone, isn't it? Hey. They're incredibly strong and powerful animals, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could put five Mike Tysons in with one silverback, they wouldn't stand a chance. They could snap your arm like a twig, like a you know, toothpick. From his casino millions, he funds the Aspinall Foundation, which breeds more gorillas than any other program in the world on this large estate in the English countryside, which looks more like an African wildlife sanctuary. The variety of diet is terribly important. In the wild, they have about 140 different types of food, mm. and we give our gorillas about 130 different types of food. He has more than 80 gorillas on the estate and would love for them all to be free in Africa. But that's a slow and carefully controlled process. We protect 1.2 million acres of wilderness in Africa, and we've reintroduced 53 gorillas back into the wild, and they've had 18 offspring it all looks easy now but but actually it was very very difficult and um took a long time to do hello gorgeous hello gorgeous here you go oh, hey. but he also saves dozens of other critically endangered animals like the clouded leopard with a particular <laughs> nice a fondness for the taste of cameraman <laughs> what can we extract what would you pay us right now to make sure you don't get a bite? They're certainly not tamed pets, but Damien is comfortable getting up close and personal. How rare are these in the wild? Oh, these are very rare. These are you know, critically endangered animals. Hello, hello. <laughs> Good lick of the ear. This is when he took the ear off the last present. Yeah, 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 yeah. About this point. I am okay here, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. It's rough, have, isn't it? I have a cloudy leopard on my back. Oh. He's okay? Yeah, yeah I'm he's okay. Yeah, you're, you're fun. You're handsome boy. Yeah. Isn't this amazing? Isn't this amazing? Yeah, handsome boy. And then there's Ambam, the six foot silverback who walks and looks like, well, one of us. Ambam became a star when he was caught on camera walking upright. When you look into a gorilla's face, do you see the similarities when you're looking into their eyes between us and them? A mean gorilla can have a mean face and a crying gorilla can have a kind face, just as you can see that within humans. But the zoo's unique ways have come at a cost, with five keepers killed and several other workers and tourists severely injured. Looks like they're ready for you now. Yeah. All right. Have fun in there. We'll see you through the fence. <laughs> These days, human interaction with animals is heavily restricted. But the rules don't apply to Damien. He believes that contact is important. You have to get to that level of trust with a wild animal where they, they, they would absolutely never mean to, to, to harm you because mm. they consider you part of their part of their tribe or their family but there's absolutely no um, way that they'd ever want to harm me they'd protect me that very unique bond is no greater than with Queeby. back in the jungle there was more to that remarkable reunion between Damien and his favourite gorilla Queeby did not want Damien to leave then when I did go, um, he followed the boat all the way back to camp and then he nested the other side of my hut on the other side of the river and he waited all morning and he was calling me in the night. And the very next morning, Queeby was still there, nestled in the riverbank. Queeby! Queeby! He's a lovely boy. I can see you. Yes, I'm coming to see you. Oh, you boy. It's very touching, that, isn't it? I mean, it's incredibly touching. You know, it's, it's not easy to get that sort of depth of friendship with a human relationship, let alone a, yeah. an animal. And that's a very, very deep bond, it was obvious. It is. I mean, and I, 
I, you know, I can consider the bond I have, not just with the gorillas, but a lot of the animals here, but obviously particularly the gorillas, as good as any bond, or better than any bond, with, than humans. Because of that bond, and thanks to Damien, these gorillas have a future. Whether living wild in the African sanctuary, or to a ripe old age on his English estate. They're so smart and beautiful, and, and their strength is so obvious. And they're so restrained in their strength. You know, they could be such bullies, but they're not. I don't think I could live my life without being surrounded by these animals. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.